All right, about to uh, get started on the Kia. Uh, this is the Kia engine, or uh, the Kia Rio engine, 1.6 GDI. Uh, this is the one we had a uh, tapping noise. Of course, you saw the video, so anyway, forget about that. We are at the point where I need to go ahead and um, I'll stop putting this back together, but first we need to clean this engine, take off all the old uh, gaskets, take all the old bearings out, as you can see, and then I'm going to take my grinder and grind all these things off, and then I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to hone each cylinder with our honing tool, so it will be able to grab, and then i um, we're gonna start installing all the uh, new tools. So today, I'm going to be cleaning a lot of the tools that I have here. Clean this, I'm going to clean the pistons, I'm going to clean the head, the camshaft, all the bearing caps, uh, oil pan, uh, the half oil pan, chrome cover. So today, it's gonna be cleaning all the tools, I mean all the parts, so when I start installing these things, um, I don't have to have to go, keep going back and forth uh, grabbing things, so that's what I'm doing right now. Welcome back. Uh, this is uh, another day here at the shop. So we are continuing our um, engine build. Um, I'm unboxing my parts here. This is the the main, the main crankshaft. Have to pay almost a thousand dollars for this thing here from here. Almost a thousand dollars. Nine hundred and thirty-nine, thirty-six $36 or something like that. And the crazy part, there's supposed to be a pin here. You don't even come with that after paying all that money. And of course, I'm going to be transferring um, the um, crankshaft uh, reluctant wheel from the old one to this one. Uh, that's how it reads. So I got here my uh, piston ring set. Uh, last week, um, I installed the pistons and I cleaned everything off. So I got my new piston ring set here. Um, I got my Honda bomb. Don't leave home without it. Always the best silicone you can get, liquid silicone. I uh, got my um, my um, rod bearings and I got my you know crank bearings here too. So that's the crank bearing. And over here I have my um, I have the full seal kit right here. I have the full seal kit with the rear main seal. The bottom, all the seals that I need, um, the head gasket, valve cover, even um, uh, what you call it, um, valve stem seals. So I got everything here on display. So I got the water pump ordered. Um, 
and the thermostat that should be coming in today. I already uh, changed the new uh, rod into the new pistons for number three cylinder. Because that, that was our problematic, that was our uh, messed up cylinder on the old crank. It was the number three uh, rod bearing. So, kind of... Uh, So what I want to do now is I'll go ahead and install my crank bearings both in the engine block and on the caps. So when you're installing this, you have to make sure that um, first of all, it's very clean. Make sure it's clean. And then um, there's some holes for the oil passages. Uh, the ones that go on the caps doesn't have the, the holes in them. You can see it. But the one that go on the block, you will see they'll have the they'll have the holes. So, so make sure you get that on the right position. Okay, we are back, we are back. Alright, um over here I have uh, the crank. I'm trying to heat up the little piece if I can heat it up enough in a way I can just pull out that, that little pin. While that's being done, um, I got this, um, I got the crank, uh, the long term wheel for the crank sensor swapped out to this side and I already got the bearings in there as you can see. So now what I need to do is uh, add a little bit of um, assembly oil if I can find. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that. Okay, I want to show you guys something here. All right. Um, on this uh, piece here, there's a. You see this? Uh, you see this pin here? That pin goes in the mouthpiece of this here. And do, usually very difficult to get it out. So the way I did it was I used this to heat it up. I kind of set this, mounted this right in front of it like that. Use something to support it, my heat gun. And let it sit here for about 20 minutes. It was heated up very so much. Um, all I had to do was use my nick pick, grab it, kind of yank on it a little bit, and it came out. So that's how you can get your pin out. The new crankshaft doesn't come with it. So if you, because you're going to need it to transfer, that's what the, the, your crank pulley rides on. So you need that piece. So I just want to show that, you know, because I had a, most difficult getting it out last time um this time around well last time i never even was able to get it out you know so i wasn't able to get it out i had to make um make myself a makeshift pin that's how i put it on and it worked so so now got this spread in here and make sure you setting this you know the back and the front of your engine so Get this in here. All right. And rotate it. Rotate it very easy. Now we're gonna install the caps. So on the caps, I'm gonna start from number one, which is the one all the way to the front. Talk this down uh, starting from the center uh, from center we're gonna walk our way back and then forward so it's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so 
There we go. And it's 15.9 foot pound and 92 degrees turn. Now we're gonna go, I'm gonna set it up for 92 degrees, 90 degree turns. That's it, oh, uh, got the crank set. So we're supposed to turn it. Very easy, there we go. And turn it with my hands. We're gonna have to tighten the crap out of it. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my pistons together. I'm going to do them over there. I'll put all my piston rings together and then we're gonna start installing the pistons into the cylinder block. these things you have to you have to go dig in this groove and clean out all these gunks because if you don't do this if you don't do this you're gonna have an issue when you put the new pistons I mean the new rings it's not gonna flush sit inside flush and if it doesn't sit inside properly flushed, it's not going to, um, it's going to be difficult for you to install this uh, piston in the cylinder. Because uh, the piston will be sticking out more than you need to. So you need to make sure you get all these, all these uh, dirt, it's like carbon, you know, over the years built up and it's caked in there. So all you need to do is take this um a piece of one of the piston ring just break it and use it to you know gently dig in there you you, you if you run it a few times like this back and forth you will see the bottom part of the you know the groove you will see, you can see it and you can see the the gunk coming out right there you know when you reach the bottom you will know you can see it right there. So just dig it until you get it all out so you don't have issues later. Okay. Because I have uh, in my beginning days of uh, rebuilding engine, I cleaned this thing before without reali realizing how important it is to get all these gunks out. And when I was trying, after installing the new piston rings and trying to put it into the cylinder, I had a lot of problems. Now you can see this one right here, right there. It's a lot of, a lot of gunk. A lot of gunk. If you don't get it out, you're gonna have big problems later. So that's how you're gonna. You gotta dig these things out. There you go. There you go. Alright. Almost there. This one has some holes for oil passage, so my um, my little makeshift tool is getting caught up in that peak in that groove. So I run it back through this one one more time. Just to make sure we got everything out. All right, we got everything out. So now we take this and scrub. Of course, I already had it soaked in this diesel, diesel fuel overnight. So 
so it'll be easier. You can see how easier it is. Just a little uh, light scrub. It's coming off. Coming off nicely. And uh, on the edges here, you can use this pick. Kind of dig all this uh, carbon out of there. It's all in this groove. It matters because um, all the space in this uh, in this piston is designed exactly to accommodate the valve a very thin tolerance accommodate the valve and also uh, pressurize a certain amount of uh, air in the cylinder and when you have a lot of this carbon buildup, that takes away, that messes up with the compression ratio. So it's important to, you know, clean it as much as possible. You don't have to make it look brand new, but as much as you can. As I said, if you soak it on diesel fluid, you're going to have a much better lock, lock, uh, kill, uh, cleaning it without much struggle, you know. Uh, you can see how nicely cleaned out. So when installing these piston rings, uh, just make sure the, the part with the letters on it faces the top. So well, we're gonna start from the bottom bottom, take one of these, and we're going to see if we can put it all together at one time. We might have to do it separately. This I'm gonna close in the gap. And then we're gonna run this on top of it. And got the notch, notch facing that way. If the notch is facing that way, that means it should be this the front. And this right here should be facing behind the notch. So let's see. So that is behind the notch right now. And then the top and facing to the, I guess the right side of the notch and the, the top ring will be facing behind it. So I have the second ring here. I say the same thing. Look where the written words are and I can see it where words are written on it that's where it needs to face so that that should be facing the corner of the notch so this is the notch here so it should be right there there's the corner of the notch so the top ring look for the written words and this is it so that'll be facing the opposite direction of the the, the second ring. <laughs> Just be careful with that. That's all I gotta say about that. Installing the simp in the piston rings, um, 
I mean, I already installed the piston ring, so we're about to install the piston itself into the cylinder. So we're going to start from cylinder, lucky cylinder number one. You have to make sure the notch or whatever piston you are doing is facing the front. For this particular engine, it has a dot on the front of the piston showing that uh, that's where it needs to face the front. Add some more oil in the cylinder. Gonna use this. Tighten this up. I like to leave a little bit sticking out, and that way, when I put it in here, it helps it line up nicely. So you set your crank. I like to set it to the bottom, and that way I have room. And be mindful of the oil journals. Um, all your jets inside the cylinder so like I said make sure it's facing the front go ahead and set it in here and tap it gently mm -hmm. always bring a little bit you, you out And uh, now I'm currently on the part where I need to tighten the the rod bearing uh, caps. So I'm going to set it up in a way where all of them are accessible at the same time. That's good right there. I'm going to start. Uh, no particular order. Just got to get it to 15 foot pound. This one is a bit small, too much. 15.9 foot pound and then 90 degrees turn. Now I will set it to 90 degrees. Right? 90 degree turns. Install these seals here. Brand spanking new. I'm gonna get the cover and I'm going to go ahead and apply some silicone to it.
cheese Is that a chick or she tease you? Get the paper, cause the bills up All I do is hit the billboard This verse so cynical All I do is to do conco Whatever it takes to be boss I still gotta pay for the cost Give you your money, not be false Curry, curry, baby, not a punk Your baby girl feeling on my trunk I see you, but stop for the talk I've been grinding, good luck But right now I'm coming for the punk huh? Baby man, baby man, I just be ballin' with all of the veterans Ah, uh, baby man, baby man, we through the jungle, he just have a settlement Ah, uh, baby man, baby man, I just be puffin' and drinkin' my lemonade uh. Alright And now we're gonna do some Copper coating we're Gonna copper coat the hair gasket, but first of all I uh, need to check it to make sure I got the correct I'm the evidence. Holy gang, holy gang, holy gang. She be the talk, say we don't cast. She be the talk, say the holy pass. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Shoddy and cash with the merriment. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. I don't roll with the shenanigans. I'm the proof, I'm the evidence. Holy gang, holy gang, holy gang. She be the talk, say we don't cast. She be the talk, say the holy pass. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Shoddy and cash with the merriment. Spicy, spicy, give me one palm wine, give me one shaggy. Smoke the pressure at the back seat. Right, guys, the talking. You gotta talk this down to 21 foot pound. 21 foot pound. In a star pattern. That's two. Go to number three. Three. You go to four. Four, go to five, go to six, go to seven, go to number eight. Now we're gonna set it down and we're gonna have to talk it down two passes of 90 degrees each. Okay. Set it to 90 degrees. Alright. Keep it on a level ground, let it go. Okay, it's a 90. So we're gonna go back the second pass. One, that's two, one, two, three, all right, two, two, four. Seven. 
eight. Number nine. Timing marks facing up. All right. Ohio, um, what do you call it? There's a devil in Ohio. No, it's really nice. Really? Mm -hmm. What is it about? It's about spirit, like a, a girl was possessed, and she used to live on the countryside, and mm -hmm. um, <laughs> she had like a demon. It was a uh, she was being possessed. Yeah, it's really complicated for you to understand it. It really takes time. And, yeah, like, so, what movie are we gonna watch? Do you have horror? No. So we're going to watch uh, Actually, I think I like horror movies. You know, do you, do you ever get scared? No. no. At night, yes, I do get. So we gotta wait until night to watch the movie. No, I can watch it any time, but we're not. No, I said we. I said we. Yeah. What time? We don't watch it at night. So if you get scared, you gonna brush up on me and grab yeah. me? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna hold you nice and tight. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet, yeah. Um, so I uh, was um, I told you that I love Rumba. Uh, it's more mm -hmm. Congolese form, mm -hmm. Lingala or something of the sort. And people find it weird at my young age loving Rumba. Because it's for old people. As oh, the Kenyans know it's not me. It's a Kigali, Tanzania, and then you have a lot of people that touch you on your back. How you, so that's how you know I love it. Yeah, because you embrace it. Like even in that place, it's an African map. I love it. And traveling the plane. I'm going to put your initials over here next. Really? Mm -hmm. I'll put your initials here. Oh, you're going to put, I would have talked about initials. You're going to get a tattoo. Yeah. Oh, really? And why is that? Why Why you want to be coming? Because I want it to be coming. Really? Mm-hmm. What if I leave? Okay. Uh, my chain just came in with some guides. I uh, got this gear, but I already got one on the new crankshaft, so I don't need that. I got my uh, timing um, timing chain tensioner, and I got my thermostat here, and of course I got my new water pump. So um, we're about to start doing the timing on this engine right now. Is it kind of started to rain so i hope you guys can hear me very well you know when i'm talking i will try to be talking while i'm timing the engine so i'm gonna get um some hex uh range so i can be able to move this 
um, if you look up here you will see the timing mark uh, right here on this uh, intake sprocket and it got one on this side for the exhaust I mean this is an intake I'm sorry and this is for the exhaust so I have it all set up so what I'm about to do is I'm gonna start uh, my uh, timing uh, chain installation and watch me already have it at top dead center at top dead center um I'm trying to push this top dead center this should be pointing in here can you see it very well see that dotted mark so this is like a five o'clock position so that's where we at okay one thing um this stand here is almost similar like the hondas uh here comes the rain so we got a marking right here on the sprockets these two sprock these two markings needs to be somewhere like this facing each other and then we're gonna line up the chain marking with the two dots I showed you guys earlier on top here and then line it up with the dot on the five o'clock position on this side the dial where the dial goes in should be facing straight up at a 12 o'clock position so here we go this is our new chain and you can see we have three marks three one two three black marks so these two needs to go on the top so I'm gonna have this over this side and because it's not the way it needs to be that side needs to be moved and I need to move this section just a little bit so they can be the markings can be facing each other so that goes like that. That needs to stay like that. And I'll take this side and bring it in a little bit more. Like that. Just a little bit, one more step. They, all, they always want to snap back. So gonna kind of um, move it. Get that facing each other. So we check, see if they're looking at each other. And they are. Come here and try and fit this and it's on point where it needs to be those two are facing each other as facing can be so I'm gonna take my my non-tension side I like to install the non-tension side first You can see the, the tension side has a, a little bit more slack than the other side, so that's how you want it to be. Checking my old one, you can see this new one that I bought, I purchased. It's not exactly like the old one. The old one do have another slot here, and 
this does not so I don't know why it's you know problems you get when you buy um, some of this aftermarket parts they cheaper yes but a lot of times you know it lines up like you should but it doesn't have the hose so what are I supposed to do with that you know what are I supposed to do with that well at this point I'm gonna have to reuse this part because we don't have that um, luxury of time to start ordering new parts Still good, it's not broken. I hate to reuse it, but hey, <clears throat> got the roll, man. Gotta let foolish things hope slow you down. <laughs> All right, let's hope this side fits. This is the timing side. Sometimes all these aftermarkets, you know, that's why I say they be, they be cheaper, but sometimes you get what you get, you know. So checking, I want to check, make sure the all your supply hole do line up, you know, with the um, with the with the hole of the supply hole so I'm trying to um, check the with the old one and it looks it looks like it's the same the hole is right there for the oil supply so that is good gotta check these things you don't want a, a bad uh, part to mess up the good work you did you know Uh, this um, this side has a little bit of um, slack in it, but when I do when I turn it a little bit, all that slack is gonna be taken off on this side. All right, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna talk it down. I think it's about. 8 point some uh, 8.7 foot pound you know just for good good faith and um, I'm going to install the crank to I mean the crank bolt and I'm going to rotate this engine make sure nothing is hitting anything and uh, check the time One thing I haven't done is I haven't talked down my camshaft cap. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, it's time to rotate the engine. I already got all my cams talked down. I talked this uh, the 10 millimeter um, cams to nine. A foot pound and this last one the 12 uh, two um, I'm talking 15 foot pounds so uh, I'm going to pull the pin for my timing tensioner and then I'm going to go ahead and rotate uh, this engine you can see my timing tensioner it just extended Coming out, second, there you go, 12 o'clock, yeah, 
twenty. Now they are 12 o'clock. Oh shit. 12 o'clock. They're pointing at each other. Up here. That's what we need. We're gonna go back and keep going past. Alright, we're gonna go around one more time. Alright. We're gonna bring this close. I got my crank mark that I made right here. Lined up at 12 o'clock. And this is at, of course my mark is not gonna come back. The marks on the chain is not gonna come back. So just following the, the permanent markings on this thing. So this one is at four. And those ones are facing each other. Up here is on this side and on this side. I think um, the Toyota used to have something that it lines up back here, but uh, this uh, Hyundai doesn't have one. And I also check this, and it's at top there center compression. So that's it. You know, we got this timed up. now is uh, take the seals off of, uh, from here and I'm going to install a new seal here and here and then I'm going to install new silicone on the front cover and we're going to cover it up and then we're going to come to the top and start our Make a seat, give me the fire, make a gift check. 